Welcome back to another Lego building video! Yeah, that's right. We're doing another Lego building video. I got me a bee now. I don't know. I don't know why I got a bee, but I got a bee cottage. And camera two is alive. Camera two is getting everything bee related that's going on with the Minecraft. You'll be able to see it here. You can't really see the box because the light's facing the wrong way, but it's okay. All you need to see is that there is a B. All right, before we get started, I need to get some copyright free beats. I didn't want to have this music, but apparently that's what we're going to have to stick with. Um, it works. Anyway, B time, it's B time guys, B time. So I'm trying at this point to just kind of finish a Lego build like monstrosity and just like have a whole bunch of different Lego builds put into one giant Lego build. And so I figured I started with the fox. I don't know exactly where all the pieces are because whenever I moved, some of them did kind of get jostled, got jostled around. So they could be upstairs. They could be in the garage. Who knows? And then I got uh, a fancy little purple one. I don't even remember which one that is. Oh, yeah. So someone is uh, sitting outside and it's like purple flowers and all sorts of other stuff. So, yeah, I, I've got two. I may do a little bit of Lego collecting. I may be a little bit of a Lego connoisseur, I must say. And so I decided to just go ahead and expand it. And so that's why we're doing this one. So let's go ahead and pop her open. How do I do this again? Ah, that's right. It's got little tabs on the backside. So that way you know where to open it up at. Well, let's try and do that. I don't have any fingernails though. Oh, punch in and I can't punch that one in. It won't let me punch it in. Ah, punch in. All right. It is punched in. And now, should open it like a bag of chips. Okay, let's let's open you up already. There we go. All right. Uh, these may be extra pieces. I don't know. You know what? That that light isn't good enough for you guys. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna light this room up properly there you go now you can see everything so like I said it's been a little bit since I built a Lego set I figured I would go ahead and build this and talk to you guys a little bit because I've been doing random pop-up streams lately and I figured that instead of me being all jumbled up and knowing that I'm in a time frame to try and talk to you guys about stuff I can at least do it in video form uh, let's see, number one, number two, okay. We're going for the number one bag first. Obviously. Let's see, alright, it wants me to build the person first, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, I have been extremely busy with work. I have been, uh, just really busy in general. I, I don't know why I kept shaking that bag. <laughs> um, I've been really busy. I have been taking care of my grandparents. I know that you guys have probably heard that over and over and over and over. It's not like I'm trying to say it just to instill it in your brains, but I kind of am in a way. But also, there's a lot of new people here, and so not not a lot of new people um, know exactly like what all is going on. Um, I did also put out a community post uh, the same day that this video is coming out. But I have not read any responses yet, so I I will get back to that at some point. But I will say the community post involved me saying, what would you guys like to know? Well, there's certain things that I will say on YouTube, and there's certain things that I will not say on YouTube. Because, frankly, it's not everybody's business. Like, people can ask generic questions, and if they don't know, I'm not going to rip your head off and be like, you piece of shit. No. No, I'm not going to do that. And that's the other thing too. I do appreciate the people who were kind of sticking up for me. I really do appreciate that. But I don't want everyone to go so hard in on these people. I, I know it does get annoying and I have been annoyed in the past, but I would like to kind of fix that aspect of myself a little bit. I think I've overreacted a little too much to pretty much everything. And I, don't want everyone to overreact in place for me like i don't need everyone to protect me or you know all this other stuff as much as i do appreciate it thank you very much 
Um, that's not what this channel is about. So I do apologize to the person who was kind of getting snapped at. Um, it is what it is. It's I, I will take responsibility for that. Um, but it. it I just don't want everybody to like freak out if I say certain things or if I talk about certain stuff because it's like okay like we're just we're just chill here anyway person let's see let me get the body in there there's a head floating around somewhere I don't know where the head is though um so one of the main things that I figured I would talk about is there's the head So far, so good. Um, so I take care of my grandparents. That is the main thing that uh, I would like people to know about me is that, well, I, I guess that's like the main thing that everyone probably knows at this point is that I take care of my grandparents. Um, and yes, they technically take care of me too because they gave me a decent place to live. But I take care of them because they are very old. My grandfather will be 90 years old in October. And he is very old. Like, just straight up. Like, he's old. There's no getting around that. There's no sugarcoating it. Dude's old. And I hate that I have seen him go from bad to worse over the years. But, you know, that's just a part of life. That, that's just how it goes. You get old and you die. I mean, it is what it is. But he's still going strong and he's still taking care of what he needs to or at least attempting to even though he does need some help sometime so where does the help come from well i'd say my grandmother and i split it my grandmother she is his wife obviously so she takes a good brunt of it but i think we both split it because i do a lot of physical labor that he can't do and so on my days off, it's been consisting, well, okay, not every day off that I've had has consisted of this, but the first couple days off that I had consisted of sleeping because I was tired and I wanted to sleep all day. So I slept all day that Tuesday. That Wednesday I got up, I went down to the store, got a couple snacks, came back, and I didn't leave until the next day whenever I had to go back to work. What is this? Looks like little platform or something that I gotta make now oh god I hope I can get this done in a decent time frame and not run out of things to say um so I as I said I take care of my grandparents um there's a lot of other things I should be taking care of for myself but they have been basically my number one priority um the reason why I say that I do most of the helping is because I, I'm the only one here, or at least there's someone else here, but I'm the only one who's willing to help. Everyone else is not here and they're not available 24 seven. And so I'm usually the one who gets asked to do stuff, which is okay to a certain degree. Um, because at least I know where I stand or I don't know this family is really weird I, I don't know if I really know where I stand um, but I do know that my grandparents need help and I do know that they are willing to help me out as much as possible like for instance they just helped buy me some new teeth so I gotta get veneers put in I went to a dentist appointment just the other day and I found out, according to the dentist, which I completely forgot that I went to this dude already, he told me that the enamel on two of my teeth on this side were going bad. So all these comments that I've made about me not being able to eat candy and shit like that, that's the reason why. <coughs> Plus also many years of me not taking care of my teeth properly. Definitely make sure to take care of your teeth. Otherwise, you're going to be miserable whenever you get older. If you're not old enough to already be miserable. Um, what the hell? Oh, I gotta... Oh! Now I gotta rotate it. Look, it's got a little... It's got a little ro rotating symbol. And then I gotta rotate it back in the next one. Okay, that's... That's weird, but alright. 
Uh, so flip it over then. So I gotta go and get those fake teeth put in here pretty soon. Um, and it costs a lot. I'm not gonna say how much, but it costs a lot. So, um, yeah, the, the doctor said that he recommends me get veneers put in because he didn't want to mess up my teeth because I've been to him several times and, uh, he, he's been familiar with how my teeth are. My mom says she doesn't remember taking me to him, but for some reason I remember this dude. I don't know exactly from where or what it is, but I remember this dude somehow. Maybe there's a repressed memory that I'm not thinking of, but yeah, he, he knew about my teeth and he knew that he didn't want me to, uh, get something bad or, or do something that I would regret later. I should say not get something bad. Um, so he didn't want to pull the teeth and he said, well, veneers would be my suggestion. And I said, okay. And my grandparents helped me pay for it because God willing, I did not have the money for that right away. <laughs> there was no freaking way. But they wanted me to have some decent teeth, and so they helped me. Um, they weren't happy with the bill, but I mean, whatever. So, since they are willing to do that and willing to take time out of their day of doing absolutely nothing to help me out with that, I figured the least I could do would be to uh, take them to, like, doctor's appointments and... Uh, you know, take care of the stuff that I need to. Because, I mean, obviously they can't do it. I'm not dogging them. They try their best, but at the same time, they can't do it. My grandfather thinks that he could do whatever the hell he wants, which, I mean, he can do a certain degree. It's his goddamn house. I'm not saying he can't do whatever he wants at his own house. He could do whatever he wants. I even told him that. But he thinks that he could still do the same things that he could about 40, 50 years ago. And so, whenever I say I'm going to go out into the yard and mow the yard, he throws a fit because he doesn't think I should be mowing the yard. He thinks he should be out there mowing the yard. Or someone else should be out there mowing the yard. But that's not how life works. you you got to take care of your own shit. So, I try to do it because I don't like the tall grass. It brings a lot of bugs in and uh, other varmints. It looks disgusting. Um it messes with my dog and then my dog messes with me and then it doesn't feel good so uh wow that sounded really weird you know what i mean um so yeah he he gets very frustrated at me for mowing the yard but to be honest with you i really don't care i also figured if i'm living here for no rent then i figured that's the least that i could do so um yeah, for those of you who are still living with your parents, I have I have moved out. Keep in mind, I have moved out. I stayed moved out for a very long time. But I came back because they needed someone and I was willing to do it. And so if you're staying with your parents, if you're not old enough to have moved out or you don't have a way to move out, just do something nice for the people who have been you know wiping your ass because you can't get out there and get your own goddamn place i'm kidding no do something nice for your family like they, they really care about you enough to be like hey you're over the age of 18 we're still gonna give a shit about you and give you a house and feel and you better feel lucky like do something nice for them take them to dinner or something all right where is this piece What is that piece? Is it this? I guess it is. But this is a goofy looking piece. Look at this. The hell is that supposed to be? What is that? I don't know. I'm going to stick it in the hole. It goes in the square hole! But I didn't go in any hole because it was still attached to my finger. So, that's what's going on there. Uh, let's see, what other new stuff or other things can I talk about? 
You know what, Let, let's try and get this put together a little bit before I keep talking, because I, I really don't want to run out of things to say. That would be embarrassing. Like, I, I like to talk to everybody, and obviously you guys have seen it whenever you see my 30 minute live streams, if you do. Um, I'll talk to everybody about whatever, but uh, I just don't really have much time anymore to do that. I work a regular job. I miss delivering so much, but it was hard on the car. Plus I got a new car. So exciting. So exciting. Got new car. The car is a 2009 Honda Fit. I am, however, very sad because I was thinking I had different plans in store and I don't I still don't know if those plans are going to happen, especially now with the other news that I was going to talk about. Um, and so I, I got rid of my other car. It, it, it makes me upset. It makes me very, very, very upset that I got rid of my Taurus. And I'll give you a backstory on that real quick. Just, just not, not too long. My buddy owned that Taurus. He's a very close friend of mine. I've watched him drive that so many different places heard about him going to so many different places in it whenever i needed a car he helped me out by giving me that car and i love that car even though it did have issues so did i so i mean it was only fair um i thought i was gonna have to move and i i figured it would just be best for me to get rid of the car especially because i just got a new car even though i wanted to keep it and use it as a car to work on I don't know my current living situation, like if anything is going to change drastically in the future. So I just figured, just get rid of it. And it makes me very sad. So it's, it's very, yeah. But anyway, I did get a new car and it drives very well. I love it. Her name is Becky. Like I said, 2009 Honda Fit. Um, she is a wonderful car. I I am not dogging Becky at all. I think she is one of the no she she is one of the best cars that I've had. Um, that and the Taurus and my old Trailblazer. God, I miss that car a lot too. <laughs> anyway, so she was a very fine addition to the family, but that is what I'm driving now. Come on, B, get on your body. Come on, B face. Oh wait. Oh, yeah. No, that this was the right way cuz it goes it goes on a pole. Why does a B go on a pole? That's weird. And why are there multiple B faces? Are there going to be multiple Bs? I'm I'm confused. What's this white piece that it's telling me to find? Or a clear piece? Is it a clear piece? Maybe it is a clear piece. Oh! Oh, wow! Clear Lego piece? Question mark? I don't think I've ever seen a clear Lego piece before. That's crazy. This is actually a Lego piece. What the hell? That's, that's bonkers. Okay, sorry, I just, wow. <laughs> that's wild. Okay, so hang on. Oh, no, 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 the bee head does need to be like that. Okay, yep, and then the clear Lego piece goes like that. Wow, that is crazy looking. It's pretty cool though. Be. Come on, focus! It's a little bee, it's a little bee, it's a little bee! Alright, let me see if I can finish this bee real quick and then I'll get right back to you. Alright, it's a brown. Ah! I took the bee's wings off! I'm sorry, little bee. I didn't mean to take your wings off. 
Please don't be mad at me. I took the bee's wings. Oh no, it's going to sting me. Alright, and boom. Buzz buzz, motherfucker. Alright. And this, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody of every gender, this is what you call a mother flipping bee. There's a bee for you. God damn! Look at that bee! Yeah, all right. We're going to stick the bee on the pole. We're going to shove a pole in the bee's ass or in its sternum. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. The bee is on the pole. Look at it. Focus. Focus on it. Be on the pole, be on the pole, oh my god. Alright, bees on the pole. Let's see, oh, now I, now I just plant flowers. God, that is so dumb. I, why waste the time to plant flowers? You don't waste time to plant flowers in Minecraft? You go out there, and you kill some mother flippers. And you take the meat. And you make meals out of it. I think I put that on upside down. I did. Okay. Flowers are planted. Oh, I am supposed to make another bee. Oh, I'm supposed to make an angry bee. Oh, hey! There's the angry bee face. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to get that to focus. Angry bee face. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, Where's another thing? Oh, I do make multiple bees. Okay. Wait, is this is this part of a bee? I don't know if this is part of a bee. It has to be a part of a bee. Oh wait, no. This is a part of a bee. Here we go. Oh wowie wow wow. Oh my god. Oh, and so... I think we're good with getting back onto the topics for a little bit. While I'm making another bee. So... I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> no, I, I I know everybody's gonna start being like, oh hey, well, are, are you spending time with someone? Uh, what is the tea? As the young generation would say. Um, I am kind of sort of seeing someone. It's a whole personal thing, and I think that either whenever we kind of figure out what we're doing, I can explain it. Um, or I would let them explain it, but there, there is some stuff I will explain now. Um, they go by they, them pronouns or he, him. Um, I don't really have a problem with it. Actually, I don't have any problem with it. Like that. I don't see anything wrong with that. I know a lot of people would, I can, well, I, I do understand, but I don't understand. Like, I understand that everybody has their certain views on stuff, but I also don't understand because I don't really see what the big deal is. So, yeah. So, that's how it is with me and them. Um, they know quite a bit of my past. They do know how I am and how I'm trying to be now. I'm trying to be a better person and try to do things the right way, and they know that. Oh, I forgot to make this drowned. 
Oh my god, I forgot to make a drowned. Well, here, we'll just fix that. There we go. Alright, y'all can hang out over there. But, it, we're, we're just, we're friends. We're cool. We're just chilling out. We're having a good time. Um, if they say that they would like to be on a video, then maybe I'll include them in some vlogging and stuff. Um, if they do not want to be on a video, however, I will not force them to. I will not force people to be on my videos. That I I think I started getting that rule after I moved in with my buddy Danny. Because him and his family, they didn't really like being on video. And like sometimes th there will be little snippets of them being in videos and stuff like that. But not anything crazy. So I, I don't want to force them to be on camera if they do not want to. But if they decide to be on camera, that would also be pretty cool. Because, I mean, hell yeah. So I'm making a mechanism to, like, make the bees float around? Is that... I, I don't really get it, but okay. Whatever. Uh... Is this an optional mechanism? I don't know. We're, we're just going to build it and we'll just see what happens. So, uh, another big thing. They are much, well, I say much younger, but my god, I'm only 29 or I'm about to be 29. It's not like I'm that old. But, uh, they are nine years younger than me. And... They know more about things than I do, and I know more about things than they do. So, like, whenever I talk about things, like, that I would learn or go through or deal with whenever I was growing up, they don't really know what I'm talking about, and I feel, like, really stupid sometimes. <laughs> and, like, just how they are, like, I I'm afraid, like, I'm going to upset them or something. And it, it's just, I, I don't know. They're funny, though. They're, re they're a really cool person. I would love for you guys to meet them if they decide to be on camera. But we'll just leave that for whatever happens in the future. But if it happens, that would be cool. I think you would like them. <laughs> okay, so these need to stick out. You know what would really suck is if something bad happened between me and them and then like I would never be able to introduce y'all to them. <laughs> oh, I would be so pissed, dude. I would be so fucking pissed. I'd be like, are you kidding me? I was doing great. And then you left me. No, that would suck. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is that I'm building here, but it's like some crazy contraption. Ah, There's a gnat in here, and I don't know why. Get out, gnat. You little bitch-ass bug. Oh, I forgot. This is, this is that same music. Okay. So I'm supposed to attach it to the bees? I'm supposed. Oh my god, why am I lagging? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Music is making it lag. The hell with it. We're just. We're doing it live! I, I, I built this. I don't know why. That's weird. Great, now I'm going to be sitting in silence while y'all have all the tunes. Okay, what am I supposed to hook on? Oh, it's just telling me, like, what it's supposed to be. Okay, that makes sense. So, because I know I'm not going to be able to build it like that, this is what I'm building. This is what I'm supposed to build. Apparently, the bees are supposed to move. I don't know why that they're planted on the, these these posts, though. That that That's kind of confusing me. 
Oh, it's only one step. Okay, never mind. Okay, so brown, yellow, yeller. Give me some of that yeller. I didn't even put it on correctly. I didn't put on the yeller. There's the yeller. And I need the orange piece. Oh, and I get to put another bee together. Buzz, 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 mother flipper. Buzz, 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 mother flipper. Buzz, 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 mother flipper. Oh, oh, I put the other two bees together. That's what this is. Okay, that makes more sense now. Buzzing on your mama. And wings. Perfect. All right, that's one bee down. Oh, I guess I can attach it to this thing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna attach the bee to this thing. Yeah. That was really cool, attaching the bee to that thing. That, that's wild, look at that. Look at that thing. We attached the bee to the thing. Look at that. Focus, you stupid mother... Yeah. Why does it not want to focus sometimes? There it is. Oh god, I gotta build another goddamn bee. Oh, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm gonna shit on my ball. Wait, what? Um, work has been okay lately. Um, I almost forgot I was talking during this entire video. Uh, work has been going okay. Um, I do work in retail. And so I do talk to the general public a lot more than what I would want to. And so that's mostly the reason why. Well, okay. I do come home and I'm tired as hell. But I communicate with so many people all at once. And after a while, it gets tiring. And so after a while, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm done talking to people. It's not that I don't like to help people. I do enjoy being able to, you know, point people in the right direction whenever they need to find their coffee. But I don't want to be around the general public for too long. Or forever. Or, you know what I mean. Um, and it also just drains me from wanting to do anything. Like, whenever I... My dog's under the shed. That's weird. Whenever I am in public and I'm talking to so many people, I'm talking constantly throughout the day. And so it's hard for me to want to come home and be like, oh, I don't have to talk to anyone anymore. And then it's like, oh, wait, I got a YouTube video to record. Oh, my God. And so then I have to get ready to record. So that's kind of the reason why I've slowed down a little bit. But also just nothing seems interesting. Like. I know that there's content that I could react to on here, and I know there's a lot of content people want me to react to on here. But it's fucking summer! Go outside! Do something outside! Why are you waiting to see me react to something? <laughs> Granted, that's all I can do right now because everything's still closed because of the stupid-ass tornado. But it, it's like, I, I don't want to react to shit. Reacting is just so subpar now. <laughs> Everybody thinks reacting is the go-to YouTube content because it's just so easy. And granted, it kind of is easy, but you also got to remember to, like, put your own spin on things. And I don't think a lot of people have figured that out yet because people are still... Ooh. I like how it spins. People are still just uploading reactions where they're just like... <laughs> so I don't think people are actually learning anything from it, but I I think that reacting is kind of overrated at this point. I did like it for what it was, and I can still react to it. And if it's something that I'm wanting to react to, then I'll make a video on it. But otherwise, I mean, a lot of this stuff is just like I I don't care. I I can't care enough to want to make a video on it, like. 
If I haven't made a video on it yet, I either haven't discovered it or it's not interesting enough for me. And I hate to tell everybody that, but actually, no, no, I don't. I don't hate to tell anybody that because it's the truth. It annoys me. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to bag two. I figured it would have told me if I was going to bag two or not. I don't know what's up with all these extra pieces, but they're going to go over here. here we're just going to put the little un undead fellow over here. And we're going to put this person right here. And if they kill the undead fellow, then I'll destroy the bees. All of them. Every single one of them. So far, so good, though. It's coming out pretty nicely. Hell yeah. Look damn fine. Damn good and fine right there. Oh no! No! I screwed up under the pedestals! Stupid bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, bee, I'm a, I'm a bee. Alright. We're just going to set those little peckers right over there. Right over there on Z microwave. Alright, bag number two, bag number two, bag number two, see, it's got, got a two on it, that's how you know that it's bag number two, alright, let's, let's open this beast up, hey, <laughs> I have a dog, for those of you who don't know, who are brand new. I have a dog. His name is Rocky. He's a good boy. Uh, he is a shithead, but he is a good boy. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't done with bag one. No, now that I look at it, I'm like, wait, bag two didn't have any green pieces. Look. Look, I got I gotta make I gotta make a tree flipping thing something. Oh my god. Well, I already got bag two open. Guess we'll have to wait on it now. Hooray. Okay. Let's keep it going. So, uh Rocky and I have been over here for quite a while now. And I feel bad because, especially with all the storms and bad weather phenomenons that we've been having, I haven't really been able to take them outside. And so, at some point, I need to take them outside. I, I need to take them on a walk somewhere. I know I could walk to the park, but there's one thing I did notice about the park that's right outside my house. It's a state park. And it sucks trying to like do anything down there during the summer during the summer everybody is down there trying to camp and put their boats in the water and stuff like that like all at the same time and so trying to do anything down there is a pain in the ass all i want to do is just go down there and enjoy the water with my dog and i can't even do that because everybody's got the whole freaking place all blocked off because oh I gotta get my boat in the water and then not do anything with it for two or three more years after that. Like, bro. Can y'all go to a different goddamn park? <laughs> There's so many parks that are around here because the lake that's right outside of my house is, like, everywhere. And so there's plenty of openings. But people don't want to go to those openings. They want to go to the openings that are right outside of our house. And, like, people will even, like, drive by real slow here still. They've been doing it for over ten years, and so I complain about it, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know why they do that. But they do it all the time. But the problem is, is they still do it. They just drive slowly by the house, and they're just like, oh, that's such a pretty house. Like, I'm going to go out there with my dick hanging out one day, and I'm just going to be like, hey, how's it going? You like my house? You like my house, guys? My grandpa would kill me. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? But yeah, we have been here for a while, and I've taken Rocky out a good handful of times, actually. I've taken him out quite a bit. But it's hard to really find anything to do at the moment because everything is still closed from the goddamn tornado. Like, don't get me wrong. 
I understand that cleanup is going to take a while, but god damn, it's taking forever. This kind of reminds me of god, 2020 again. Back in 2020, everything closed down, and then it seemed like forever before anything would open up, and then guess what? Same thing's happening again! Just for a natural disaster. Oh, I see what this is. Now it's a beehive. We're putting... We're, we're making a beehive, guys! We're making a beehive, and we're putting it in the tree. That makes me so happy. So, I do know that wherever I go, well, I can't say wherever I go next, because there is no guarantee on, like, where it is that I'm going to go next. Um, minus, like, where I need to move to. Which, that's also another topic that I think I'm going to bring up in here. Just because, like, I do think it's important. But, what I will say, though, is I don't know exactly where it is that I'm going to take my dog. Uh, to take him outside for a while. But, I think, at some point, he and I are going to go to a park somewhere. Whether it be out by the lake, which would be preferred, because wide open space, water everywhere for him to drink. I mean, why the hell not? But, um, we'll just have to see. No, oh, I need another one of those pieces. And then one on the front. Oh, I gotcha. Wait, did I screw this up somehow? I think I screwed this up somehow. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. I did screw it up. Oh, shit. Put two pieces together that shouldn't have been together. I do this every time. I don't know how I do it. Well, time to ruin some Lego pieces by using a knife. Ow! Owie. Oh no, I'm bleeding. And I did chip off a little bit of the Lego piece. Oh no! Oh, actually, that's a pretty big gouge in it. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Well, you, you can't really tell on the camera. The camera doesn't do it justice, but... Well, I guess you can kind of tell. Yeah, I, I kind of snagged it. And I also snagged my finger. Look at that! Blood! Blood! <laughs> it does kind of sting. <laughs> uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, uh... No, I do want to go to some public places uh, and uh, do some fun, cool activities with my doggo. Um, it just is going to depend on what those public places are. Um, and I'll also try to record more whenever I do, like, days with Rocky because, well, I mean, it, it would be much easier to do those kinds of days with Rocky and make videos and stuff like that because... Well, what else am I going to do? And I mean, we're outside and we're having a good time and it's what I want to do. And so that's what I think I may end up doing. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So far, tree with with a little uh, with a little nest in there. Yeah, a little honey hive. A little honey hive. A little honey hive. Um... So, the next thing on the docket, actually, I think I'm going to have this tree done here in just a moment. Hang on. I want to get this tree done. No fucking way! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You bitch. Okay, yeah, let me finish this goddamn tree before I completely screw it up. 
Alright. Move there. You whore! Oh my god! Stop! Okay, maybe I don't have to push that hard. Maybe that, that's what's happening. Okay. All right, all right. Let let me let me focus on this goddamn tree. Oh, okay. And then I put it on the thing. Put it on the thing. I put it on the thing. Look at that! The tree is now added. Oh my goodness! That's cool. All right. I'm bleeding all over my Legos. Bag number two time. All right, now we're on bag number two. Now, I, I kind of got a little carried away with it. And so that's why bag two is open. So shut up. All right. Let's do it. So. Oh, I put two of those together again. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Wait, hang on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. It was these two. Cool. So, my life, I've got so many struggles in it. I've realized that. Believe me. I'm also saying that because I don't think that people who come in contact with me or have contact with me come into contact jesus christ what what the hell am i a half-life victim um i i don't think that a lot of people who talk to me or interact with me realize like i do know that i have a lot of struggles in my life but one thing is constant i want to move out of this freaking state so goddamn badly. I am so tired of living in this goddamn state. I'll tell you why. It's because I used to love living in this state. Until the state started tearing down things that I liked. And it, they are taking away my home from me. And I don't like it. I do understand that progress is a thing. I do understand that. But whenever you're tearing down places and buildings. That aren't even open for more than two years. Just because you're like, I, I don't want that. Let's just put something else. I don't want that. Let's... Stop it! You're ruining this ecosystem. Sorry. I had to get angry about that for a second. Uh. No, there's too many changes that are going on here, and I'm I'm just I'm sick and tired of dealing with all of them. I, I I don't like all these changes that they're doing. I don't like they're accommodating the people that are just like, nope, I'm not gonna work here, or live here, or whatever, because uh, you don't have you don't have the fanciest uh, bike shop. The, the the next city over has the fanciest bike shop, and yours is so so two thousand and a lame. I'm like, shut up, just just shut up, just shut your mouth. Why do I have? What the hell is going on here? One two three, four five six seven eight. One two three, four five six seven eight. Oh, I'm putting the three one on. Okay, I was so confused. All right, there's a four one somewhere. Hang on. All right, here that here it is. Okay, that makes more sense now. Anyway, um, but I wanna I wanna leave here really goddamn bad. And now here's the thing. Now, I am older and I should be like focusing on doing like the normal routine of being an adult, and. I feel like I have either played into giving me the shit end of the stick on that, or life has just given me the shit end of the stick on that. It's kind of a mixture of both. Um, I'm not saying I'm not at fault. I'm just saying that it's a little mixture of both. And I want to get the hell out of the state, but I have been held back for many reasons, and another one is now going on. But as soon as they decide to leave, I feel like that... It would also be time for me to look into leaving as well. And whether I'm like with the same person or not, 
it, it, whether it, like whether I am or not it that's a whole different thing I think wherever it is that I end up in life I do know that I want to leave and I kind of have the same vision as them I want to go out west I live in the Midwest and I hate living here I, I hate everything about it whenever I was a kid I would always get sick because uh well, I had asthma. I, I still have asthma, technically. And I would always get sick. And every time that like winter would roll around, first week of winter or just before winter, I'd get sick. As soon as spring would start, I would get sick. I couldn't breathe for like three weeks straight during the spring. Because, oh, my allergies wanted to kick in. Ha <laughs> ha! Second it. Where is this piece that I'm looking for? All these clear pieces are also throwing me off. Oh, that's right. Extra baggies. <laughs> Silly me. Hiya. So yeah, I, I'm just sick and tired of dealing with the Midwest. I am from New Mexico, and I have thought about going back there. I just don't know exactly where. Um, It's not ruled out, though. I would not mind going back to New Mexico. I think that New Mexico is a pretty decent state to live in. And I don't think that it would be a bad place for me to go back. Um, but that just depends. Like I, I haven't got to see a lot of the things that I wanted to see. Like, I did a lot of things poorly whenever I was younger. And I'm, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it or anything, but there's a lot of decisions that I wish that I would have made. And it's very cliche of people to say this because, well, whenever you get older, you, you'll finally realize it. But there's a lot of decisions that I wish I could have done differently. But at the same time, those decisions did kind of shape me to know exactly what it is that I'm talking about with most things. So it it's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. I know that I should have actually ended up going to college. I know I should have gone to college. I know I should have gotten a degree. I didn't take that route. I know that I could have went into the Air Force. I know that if I dropped the weight, or if I had dropped the weight back then, I would have already been in the Air Force. I didn't. And it's all because I got fixated on something that wasn't meant to be in the first place. And I don't blame any other parties involved. In fact, I just blame myself. Because I decided to let one family run how I viewed life. And it wasn't their responsibility to do that. And I don't hate them for it. But at the same time, I I don't want to be involved with a lot of those people anymore. The people that I've met along the way, they hadn't really helped influence my life any better. And I hate to say that, but in a way, I don't because it's my truth. Every, everybody else likes to put themselves up on a higher pedestal. And whenever I'm involved, they always put themselves on that pedestal and leave me in the goddamn dirt. And I'm not letting it happen again. I'm, I'm not doing that shit no more. I know what it is that I've been upset about. And I know that I've tried to just mind my own business and do my own thing. And I'm not saying people are trying to start drama with me right now. They may in the future. But as of right now... They can all suck my left nut. Because I don't want to see any of those people. Now, if I come into, like, passing glance with them, I'm not just going to be, you know, a complete asshole and tell them to screw off. But those people kept bringing down my life. They wouldn't help try to bring my life into a... in the positive direction or anything like that. They just wanted to keep bringing me down. And keep making me be, like, the gopher for everything. And they took advantage of me. And to be honest with you, 
I didn't really see it until now. But I have started noticing it more or realizing it more the older I've been getting. And I'm not doing that no more. Sorry, I had to break these pieces apart because I don't know if they're on there properly. Oh, yeah, I think that was right. Perfect. Hell, yeah, we're getting somewhere with this. The little beehive thing. Or, oh, no, I'm making the actual bee. Oh, I just realized that. I'm making the actual bee. Holy shit. Okay. Anyway. Um, I think it's also something good for everybody to really realize. Because, I mean, of course, yeah, I, I have more of a adult following. Unless people are lying about their age. Um... I have more of an adult following, following, following on here, and I, I think everybody kind of, well, at least I hope everyone kind of agrees with me that when it, whenever you get out into the real world, you don't think that anyone will do anything to you. You think that everyone is your friend, and you think everyone is going to be there for your best interest. And, you know, the sad part is I'm starting to see that a lot more now whenever I get older. But let me tell you my experience with it. Th this is how I could see it. I could see all the times that all the people who I've come into contact with were supposed to be there for me whenever I was there for them. And they were supposed to help give me a hand on stuff after they said they would. And they would come visit with me whenever I needed someone in need or when whenever I needed what the hell am I saying whenever I was in need of talking to someone people were supposed to be there but every single time that I did anything of the sort or had any of the stuff come up of the sort no one was there no one was there at all it was just me myself and I and you know what I was always there for them, or at least I tried to be, and now I look back, and I'm not like the greatest friend in the world, I'm not saying that I am, I'm not saying that I haven't made any mistakes, I'm only saying this because like, I don't want people misconstruing anything, but what I will say is, is that those people know who they are. And if they think that I'm just going to put up with their shit and, you know, just deal with it and stuff like that, well, you're wrong. I'm not putting up with it no more. I don't want to call anyone specific out because I don't think that it would be wise or just tasteful to start any drama. But the people who I'm talking about, they know who they are. I got a little double door. Look at that. Look at that. We got a little double door, double door, double door. Um I I hate thinking that way because I don't think of myself as a vindictive person, but if I have to be, I will be. Because I do not want people messing with my stuff. That is something else that has also really bothered me is whenever people mess with my stuff, especially without saying anything. But then whenever I mess with their stuff, then they get upset. It's like, oh, okay. I've had that happen way too many times. By just recent roommates to way previous roommates. I've had people get upset with me because I needed to use something or I borrowed something real quick. And they're like, well, why didn't you put it back? But, but they can touch my stuff and not put it back. And they're just like... I figured it wasn't a big deal. You, you could take care of whatever you need to take care of. Stay out of my shit! That's the way I see it. But that that's, that's kind of what I'm also getting at here, too. Is I don't see that with this person that I've been talking to. I don't see that with them. And the bad part is is that I didn't really see it with the people who used to be really close with me either. I was just a younger kid who just didn't really know any better and I didn't want anyone 
touching my shit or dealing with my shit. And whenever people would, then I would get upset about it. But to be honest with you, like, I don't see that from this person. This person is very sweet. They respect my boundaries. I try to respect theirs. I'm trying to learn pronouns a lot more because, well, I need to know them for one and for two. I think that it would be a good thing for me to understand them and not just be like, what is everyone talking about with pronouns? Hell, I also have pronouns set up for me on my YouTube. And it's like, I, I know these are my pronouns, but I don't understand the rest of them. <laughs> All right, so far, so gravy. We're getting there. We're, we're getting to the end of the book, slowly but surely. The end of the book is starting to draw closer. But yeah, I think that, you know, with me talking to more people or at least a new person who I think kind of understands me like they they seem like that they understand a lot of the stuff that I'm going through I, well at least a good portion they haven't really experienced the, all the shit that I've been through but I haven't experienced the type of mental like state that they've gone through either so I think that it would be for the best for me to get to know them more and I think it would be for the best for me and them to go out for a while and experience some cool stuff there's a lot of things that I said I wanted to do and they said they would like to do that too and I said hey we need to figure out a time then and then we're going to go together I think it will be fun we're, we're gonna go look at uh, thrift stores we're going to go to the lake we're going to go to we're we're gonna go we're we're gonna go to some caves. I didn't tell them this, but we're gonna go to some caves and we're we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time, even if there's bats in there. I I know they may get scared of bats, but we'll just keep that between us. Um. Yeah, it's like I'll be completely honest. This is the happiest I've been in a very very long time. Like, I never really thought I would be this happy to be able to talk to someone and for them to understand me and then, like, I can actually kind of understand what they're going through. Like, it, it's it's nice. Because it's not like we're just sitting there trauma dumping on each other, but I know I've had, like, my own share of trauma and I always, I'm very apologetic because I'm like, Oh, God, I said this, and I don't want them to think of this the wrong way, and so I have to apologize, apologize, apologize. And they're like, you don't have to do that. And then they'll do that to me whenever I say something or, like, if something gets brought up, whatever, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, you don't have to apologize either. So it, it all works out. But, you know, I also think that I need a little sense of normalcy again because, especially during the pandemic, I just kind of stopped talking to people. I really just got into like these mon monotonous, like quote unquote relationships. The ones that just don't really matter or they just don't matter, period. I got into those relationships or friendships or whatever, and I just stopped really communicating with people. Also devoted my life basically to YouTube. And so I stopped doing things outside or going to places or whatever because if I couldn't record I didn't want to go and I think that that streak has to end I think that it would be beneficial for me to get out there and talk to some different people and I mean don't get me wrong I would love to be with this person and I hope that they feel the exact same way but if they don't will I be hurt Kinda. I would be lying if I said I wouldn't be. But I would be more understanding. They, they've they told me some stuff that, you know, I actually appreciated because it's like, hey, at least I know ahead of time what it is that you're looking for. I'm not just sitting here playing the guessing game and thinking that I'm doing the right thing and then you go, turn around and screw me over. Like, at least I know what it is that I'm getting into. And I think that's nice. 
And I wish people would be more open like that a lot of the time. I don't know if people are actually like that anymore. I hadn't dated seriously in so many years, so I have no idea. But, uh, it, it's just, it, I don't know. I wish more people would be like that, and I appreciate that they are. And since they try to give me as much respect as possible, I try to give that respect back in return. They messaged me earlier today. They said they got a haircut. I was like, hey, I want to see the the picture of the haircut, but then they probably got busy, and then we couldn't communicate anymore. I'm like, well, I'll get a response tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> no, it's been fun, and I think that it's something that I've needed for a long time was like a companion of some sort to, you know, keep my mind at ease, make it so that way I don't just live on YouTube. I can enjoy the outside world and do things outside and not be constrained to a computer. See, that's the other thing too, is that like how much younger they are than me. I, I remembered that like, oh, oh wait, hang on. I need to add more to this. God damn it. Shit! I noticed that people who are younger than me have always been raised by technology. And I'll explain what I mean there. All of y'all who are younger than anyone who was... If you were not born in the 90s, you're younger than me. All of y'all who were not born in the 90s have not experienced what it was like to not have computers. Or unlimited internet or iPhones or anything like that. And so I'm doing all this stuff because it's like, it's something I've enjoyed. Something I really got into back in 2000. Well, I really got into it back in like 2004, 2005, like doing stuff on the computer. But there was a whole point in time where like, yeah, I, I didn't use the computer. I could do whatever the hell I wanted and stuff like that. Like, that's not a big deal, but no, like, people who are younger than me, they've just grown up with the technology, so they're just like, eh, I could take it or leave it. And I'm like, what? You don't even care about technology? And, that, that's the, and that's the way that the future is going. This is the reason why that we're getting, like, AI and shit like that. Because people who are born today, they're like, oh, we've already seen technology. What else can it do? And everyone's like, oh, shit, we got to scramble. We got to get something going. The kids are starting to leave. Like it, it, it's wild to me because like I'll say stuff about YouTube and yes I have mentioned YouTube to them, and they'll just look at me and be like, oh okay that's cool, and I told them how many subscribers and they're like, oh, hell yeah, that's pretty dope. And I'm like, wow YouTube is not a new concept anymore. If you say you're a YouTuber, everyone's just like, oh yeah no I, yeah no my, I I've got three uh, cousins who have friends that who also have friends that have YouTube accounts and that they've got like a hundred and three hundred. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I never thought that it would get to the point where it's like, Oh, you know, being a YouTuber is normal or at least having a YouTube channel. Everyone has a YouTube channel at this point. It's mind boggling dude. And so now that I'm talking to them and they don't care about being on the computer or being on their phone and stuff like that. Now that's also kind of intrigued me because I've also, you son of a bitch. I've also thought about doing some stuff where I'm not on my phone. Like I would like to vlog going to like I said, different caves and uh, going to different uh, cities and different shops and stuff like that. I would love to go do that. Where's the other gate? There it is. Um, but there may be some times that maybe I don't. Or maybe I make a giant vlog with multiple scenes of me like doing a vlog style kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. Like it's something that, you know, I can figure out whenever the time comes, but I, I have thought about that and it's kind of a scary thought in my opinion, to be honest with you, because I, 
Oh, that is so adorable. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh, my God. I had thought about, like, what it would be like to just not record. I've, I've put myself on camera on YouTube since, like, 2007. So, a lot of growing up, I've been on camera. I've done a lot of things on camera. And, you, you know... I kind of want to experience a time without it. And it's not that I don't want to talk to y'all, but maybe there needs to come a time where I just take the take the break. Take the plunge into, you know, seeing what the real world has been like. I know that I just recently grew this YouTube channel, but I've been on YouTube forever. I've had other YouTube channels, and I've interacted with a lot of YouTubers on here. And... I, I know that it doesn't mean shit for me because, well, nobody really knows me or anything, but whenever you've grown up with it and you've done it for so long, whether you've been monetized or been considered an actual YouTuber or not, you've done it. You've been there. You've seen it all. You've experienced a lot of the things that not a lot of people can say they they have experienced. I have experienced a lot of different changes on YouTube. The YouTube we know today is not like the YouTube that it was whenever it first came out. And seeing how that's all changed, like, it's it's crazy to me. It's crazy to see all the changes that have been happening. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. I did this wrong, too. Yeah, I just, I'm missing one thing. There we go. So yeah, seeing all the changes on the website and just seeing how things are now, it, it's it, it's just mind-boggling to me. But anyway, I've been on here for so long, and I think that it's about that time to where I can figure out an actual time frame on like when I want to upload videos, how I want to upload videos. The problem is, is that I know not a lot of people are going to stay, and I'll tell you why. And I know a lot of y'all will say, no, we'll stay, and I do appreciate that, but I'll tell you why I know that, is because I didn't post for a while and everyone left. And I do get it, you know, there's multiple factors that played in there. Uh, for starters, I said I was back and then I didn't post anything. Sorry about that. Um, also, people want content right then and there, and if I don't post what they want to see, then, yeah, they're going to dip. But I'll be honest with you, those aren't real fans. People like that don't want to actually stay because they, they don't give a shit about what I was doing. Those are the people that I've always been afraid about. They're just here for the content. They're not here because this is my channel. They're just here because it's like, ha ha, skibbity toilet. Whatever, go away. So at least now I know who my true audience is or should be. And... I'll be honest, if people keep leaving like that, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, I know who the people are who always come in or who can carry on decent conversations and stuff like that with me. And, you, you know, things like that. Those are the people who are actually here and are willing to wait for a good video. That's what I want to start doing now. Like, I want to do this stuff, and I know that I could be this busy and do these things during the summer and whatnot. But there's going to be a lot of time where it's like, I need to figure out what it is that I'm going to post. I can't just, you know, throw out a video the next day of me doing something. I don't have, like, all these editors or camera people or anything like that to make these videos over and over and over and over and over and over. I can't do that. I do all my own work. So, yeah, I can't do that shit. If I can find a time frame to give you guys, to let y'all know what it is that I'm planning on doing, I think that'll be helpful. Because I'll be completely honest with you guys, even though I am still relatively new to most of y'all, I feel like an old man, especially on this platform. I have not really jumped into a lot of new stuff. Well, I did jump into shorts, but shorts is, uh, shorts are made for everybody, apparently. So, I mean, I have kind of tapped into the new stuff with YouTube, but 
it's going to get to the point where I'm just too old for this platform. And I at least want to make videos that I think are worthwhile on this platform of like meaningful stuff. I can't just be 35 and I know granted I like Asmongold, I like Tectone, but I can't be 30 years old talking about drama about anime girls and stuff like that in my opinion. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the person I'm talking to is younger than me. They could talk about it if they want, and I'll engage in the conversation with them. But at a certain point, it's like, I can't talk about this every day. I'm 30 years old. I can't. No. No, I don't, I don't give a damn. And some of you may disagree with that, but I will say this. I don't disagree. <laughs> because, I mean, come on. Come on. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess it's just adding it on there. I don't know. Oh, now I got to turn the B upside down. All right, we're getting there. We're, we're almost done. We are almost done. I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. That is crazy. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what it is that I'm going to do yet. But I am going to figure out something. Because... I want to keep doing videos on YouTube for the purpose of entertainment, but actual good entertainment. I don't just want to shit out a video and put it out there just for clicks and likes and stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love that I'm making money off of YouTube. I will not deny that. I love that I'm making money off YouTube. But the money doesn't feel worth it to me if I'm just reacting to Skibbity Toilet or some stupid shit. Because, like, what's the point? I'm just on there just farming for clicks and views. And I, I don't want to have my legacy go down like that. Because if everyone just decided to up and leave me one day, then what legacy do I have? Oh, I'm the dude, I'm dude number 469 who reacted to Skibbity Toilet and then everyone left. Like, that's not fun. That's not a fun way to go out. I want to be at least known as someone who did provide entertainment to everyone and ma made their days better, put smiles on their faces. That's how I want to be known. That's how I want to be remembered, at least on this platform. And I don't think that I can do that with just reacting to stuff. It's not going to keep happening like that. It can't. So at some point, I am going to figure out a time that I, I'm i going to honestly sit down with myself and think about what it is that I want to do. Because I'll tell you all right now, it's a very scary thought to have someone who has been on the platform for a very long time just turn around and be like, you know what, now that I'm getting paid from it, I'm going to do it less. That's the let. That's the little. That is the last thing that I'm trying to do. But I do know that it is something that I'm going to need to ponder on. I screwed this up again. I need to ponder on it because. What the hell did y'all do here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I I see what's happening now. I was so confused. Um. Yeah, I just don't want anyone to be surprised. Um, it may come after my birthday. I don't know. Maybe that's what I need to do. After my birthday is said and done, maybe I need to start having those chats with myself. Like, hey, you're almost 30. You've been doing YouTube since you were about 9 or 10. What is it that you're... Or wait, no, no, hang on. No, I would have been 12. That's wild. I've done YouTube since I was 12. And now here I am, almost 30, and I'm like... All right, man, you've been on here for a while. What are you doing? <laughs> maybe that maybe that is what I need to kind of figure out. I don't know. Still a scary thought, though. I don't want to lose the platform that I've got to be on and have fun with, but at some point I will need to pull a mat pat and say goodbye. However, I will, in the meantime, still be the grandfather of YouTube and be like, you know what? I'm still here. Grandpappy is proud of all of you. I cannot believe that I used to post every single day 
about six years ago. I would post videos every single goddamn day. And now I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, I need to do way less. <laughs> like if it takes two or three weeks to make a video, I want that to be the new time frame. But that's a wild time frame. All right, Lego pieces. You're gonna piss me off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up breaking it. I really hope I don't. I'm just gonna get the knife and I'm gonna bust it and my finger open again. I hate messing these up. Aha! I didn't bust open my finger. Thank you, knife. Oh my god, you're sharp. And you know, as much as I have really been, like, upset with thinking that, you know, people are only here just because that I react to their favorite thing. You know, I think that's kind of made me grow up a little bit to a point where it's like, you know, maybe it's not so bad. I need more people on my team. And I don't think that a lot of people were always on my team. I think they were rooting for me to fail. I think they were rooting for me to not be able to experience life. Hell, even my grandfather thought that this YouTube thing... Actually, he still thinks that this YouTube thing is a waste of time and is stupid as hell. And he doesn't understand how people can do this. Or even watch this. But you know what? I think I've done all right. I know it took me a long time, and I know there's some up and down tribulations with this, but I think we've done good here. I think the Jake squad has accomplished quite a bit over the years. And I am proud. I am absolutely proud of everything that I've at least got to accomplish on the computer. So no matter what, whether I'm on here or not, in the near future, it doesn't matter. I want y'all to know I'll always be thinking of y'all. And I'll always be there to try to put a smile on your face. It just depends on whenever that time may be. <laughs> I don't know exactly whenever I'm going to do this big change. But I, I will at least let everybody know when and if I have decided to do this big change. All right, so we have finished the B. We are at the end of the book. We finished the B and I gave it the D. All right, so I don't know what's up with this random yellow piece, but we're going to have an extra yellow piece on it. Boom shakalaka. I got a mother flipping B. Look at this. The eyebrows move. Oh my God. It's a mother flipping bee, bruh. That's crazy. And then, I guess I could just like have it back here, but I don't know. I'll have to figure something out with it. But now I can join the rest of the collection. Let's take a look. All right, what have we got going on up here? M move all this shit out of the way. Get out of the way. You're in the way of my bee. Stupid bitch ass containers trying to get in the way of my bee. Look, look at my pretty little bee. It's so pretty. Say it's pretty. All right, and the final touch. There we go. Oh, I, either it's sitting on something. Oh yeah, it was sitting on something. That's what it was. All right, so now we got the bee, we got the fox, and we got the sheep the sheep house with the pink trees and stuff we have the trifecta there's still more to come but this is a good start no for real though i actually do enjoy doing the lego stuff and i i i enjoy doing it and being able to talk with y'all and be able to you know communicate things that are on my mind while i'm doing something to preoccupy my mind so i mean i thought it was pretty cool and i'm glad that I'm, I'm starting to get into a hobby that I actually really enjoy. And now this is Lego, well, 
Is this my third? Yeah, this is my third Lego set that I've done now. I did have a fourth Lego set, but it burned up a long time ago. Um, so third Lego set, especially for this set, and it's coming along nicely, and I'm still gonna be doing more, so keep an eye out for that, all right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there will be another video whenever I can figure out a time to make another video, but for now, Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, press the bell. Go take a look at my other videos. There's all sorts of content that it's, that's on this channel. And yeah, I, I hope you have, I, I hope you have a, hope you have a great day. All right, bye-bye, bye-bye, we.